You ready? Hmm? Let's go ahead and just introduce yourself, say hello, oh, and just kind of explain what's going on. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, hello. Look, we have a lot of fun on this channel. Sometimes I use shoes. <laughs> sometimes I laugh like a maniac. Hell, sometimes I bash my head into a phallic-shaped fruit forced fully into my face and forehead. But today, I would like to talk about something a little more serious. And that, the topic of theft. What you're about to witness is an interview I've held with Curly of Curly Studios regarding a series of traumatic incidents that have occurred. These incidents began on Saturday, August 7th, 2021. This was the night when everything changed. And this is the story so far. So I was waking up from my nap right before work. And uh, the first thing I do is look on my phone and I see the notification. The first thing I saw was the thumbnail, and then I clicked on the video. This is Curly Studios, uh, aka Derek Curly's favorite video game, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's, Diddy's Kong Quest. Um, it's his favorite video game of all time, it's his favorite soundtrack of all time, uh, and, and we're gonna beat him at it. We're, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're calling him at 2A right now on the channel. Derek Curly, I am gonna kick your ass at Donkey Kong Country 2. At first, Curly was excited, a challenge against a friend in one of his favorite games. But then the insults came in. And then there were the stakes. Because he's a clown, Allie. That's why. Because he's a fucking clown. That's why he's the Joker. Until eventually I'll stomp your ass into the ground. And we're gonna put some stakes on this because you stole the color orange from me. And then lies the biggest issue of all. Ryan claims that Curly had stolen the color orange from him. Winner gets the color orange, loser leaves town forever. That's that's the rules. That's the stakes if you choose to accept them. If not, then I'm going to publicly shame you as a coward for the rest of your life. Why would Ryan, one of my best friends, someone I look at as a brother, do this to me? Does he truly want me to leave town? Does he want me gone? Look, I'll be the first to admit, I may have responded a bit aggressively to the challenge and the idea that he could beat me. They kick my ass. And my fucking game. And my game. And my fucking game, Ryan. And my game. But I was hurt and angry for all the things he said. This man's a criminal. This man's a criminal. I've had it. I've had it with your bullshit, Ryan. I put up with your bad opinions for years. I've been by your side. And this is, this is the things I get. This is the things I get. This man's a criminal. You want to go? You want to fucking go? Let's fucking go. This is my favorite game. And this man has the balls, the audacity to challenge me to a speedrun of it. A game he's never fucking played. I've been trading all my life, motherfucker. All my life for this. You don't even know. You don't even know what you've done. What have you done, Ryan? What have you done? What have you done? You have nothing on me. I chalked all of this up to both of us just being heated. Who's laughing? Anybody see any clowns? Anybody? Who's laughing? Who's laughing right now? Who's laughing? Is somebody just, is there funny? Does it look like I'm a joke? Ooh, I almost punched my screen. Ooh, I almost, ooh. I almost, ooh, you almost got punched. <laughs> mm, mm, I'm gonna bask in your blood. I'm gonna eat you alive, sir. It's like stealing seeds from a dog. Like stealing fucking seeds from a dog. Hmm, that's right. As a completely impartial and unbiased anonymous third party to these events, I have to say, this should be just like stealing seeds from a dog. Ryan had never played this game before in his life, and he has now issued a challenge to Curly at his favorite game. And then, on September 22nd, 2021, Ryan's next video regarding the challenge happened. The year was 2006. Um, I was, uh, you know, uh, 
just about getting into high school and uh, I was uh, trying to get into football. My, my very kind uh, stepfather, uh, Bob Michelson, was uh, so gracious to recommend the Cincinnati Bengals. He said they were an up-and-coming team. They had a really solid quarterback in Carson Palmer. Confidently, but ignorantly, I entered a fandom of misery and suffering. So you may be wondering, Ryan, why the hell are you telling us all this? Nobody cares about football. But I bring this up to you because for the past 15 years, I have suffered and I have suffered greatly. In these 15 years, I have uh, used the, uh, the color orange to, to identify myself. It's been a, a huge part of my identity and my personality. You know, uh, I, I've painted my room orange more than once. Um, I, you know, own tons of orange clothing because of the Bengals. Derek Curley, a man I consider a best friend and a brother, rebranded his YouTube channel featuring the color orange and claiming it as his own and that he had always loved it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not the truth. He is a liar and a clown and a troll. I mean, surely, surely Ryan doesn't truly believe that I stole what always has and always will be my favorite color. Look, Ryan blatantly admits that he didn't fall in love with the color orange until high school. He sits there and spouts all these sports facts as if he's the only one that loves the Bengals. I mean, come on, who doesn't? Who wouldn't? They've got a great color. And he sits there and says, oh, I painted my room orange multiple times. Look in the video. Look in the video and look in your heart. What color is this wall? What color is your heart? Sorry. Look, I've got photos of myself being in all of the color orange. I'm wearing orange in multiple pictures. One of my first loves was Crash Bandicoot and he wants to talk about hurt? How many times I've had to endure Crash Bandicoot getting shit games? Shit games? Yeah, we've had like five good ones. One of those being a kart racer, maybe two of them. Maybe there was some trash. It was some really bad Crash games. Really bad. <laughs> He's back. I mean, he was back. Crash Bandicoot 4 is a terrific game. I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine what that's like. Is there anything that you would want to say to Ryan before the race? No. Okay, I guess that Wait. wraps up. No. Okay, I guess that wraps Wait. up. Yes. Yeah, sure. Whatever. On September 28th. Ryan, better goddamn give it your all, because I am not going to sit here and take it. I'm not going to sit idly by while you sit there and throw my name in the mud and sit there and act like you, of all motherfucking people, person I loved and respected, are going to beat me in my favorite game? No. 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 I'm bringing my A game. So you better goddamn get your pags packed up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The ultimate Donkey Kong Country 2 race between these two titans will occur on September 28th, probably around 10 p.m., or maybe a little earlier, or maybe a little bit later. All in all, everyone is anxiously awaiting with bated breath for race day to see how all this will shake up, to see who will be victorious, to see who will have to leave town forever, and most importantly, who will be the crown king of orange. And I know what the question is that's on everyone's mind. Did Curly truly steal the color orange? I'll let you decide.